team to find out how they're getting ready for the big match tomorrow. You guys? Yeah. When I wear these, that can only mean one thing. We are talking soccer, and we are talking with two of the players, one who we all know and love, and a new one that we're going to get to know. I did warn him. We're going to ask some tough questions. Let me introduce you, my friends. First, over here, we've got Tomas Hilliard Arce. Did I say that right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's always a good start. And, of course, Mr. Cameron Watson. Good to see you again, my friend. How you doing? It's been a while, huh? I had to miss you in that neon shirt, though. I know, I know. I'm sorry I forgot to take the bib off. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh, talk a little bit about what it is like to finally back in to know we got a game. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's been so long. We're anticipating it. Um, I think the energy, despite the fact that it's going to be an empty stadium, the energy is going to be awesome. Uh, we just can't wait to get playing. Absolutely. So, Matt, I know you will not be able to play in front of the fans, but I'm sure they've all told you we do have the best best fans around. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I've had the uh, privilege to play against them, and yeah. I know how uh, the energy that they can bring and yeah. uh, the impact that it makes. So, unfortunately, they won't be here, but I know we'll feel their presence on yeah. social media and watching online. Oh, absolutely. We're going to be screaming from the couches at home. All right, so let's talk. we got the soccer business now. Let's talk personal. We're going to get personal here, okay? So, <laughs> Cameron, as uh, we, we, we learned, you got engaged recently. Congratulations. So, I would like to know, how involved have you been on this wedding planning situation? I've had input on the menu, okay. and <laughs> um, that's about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we all know how much you love to sing and dance, okay? So, let's talk music, my friend. What's going what's gonna, to, have you thought of any songs to, for the entrance into the reception? That hasn't quite been established, but I do get input on the playlist as well. Okay. So, um, you know, while she's dealing with every other, you know, the hundreds of details, I'll work on, you know, some good songs. Right. Are you debating between like Bruno Mars and the Beeps? Yeah, we're definitely going to have a, a steady <laughs> diet of both of those. So we'll uh, we'll figure out which ones exactly, but they'll be in there. Oh my gosh, I love it! I love it. All right, well, Thomas, we have not had the pleasure of doing karaoke just quite yet. Keyword mm -hmm. on yet, okay? And hopefully not today. <laughs> It will not happen today, okay. but it'll happen. It'll happen very soon. All right, so I'm going to do what we like to call lightning round. Great. I'm just going to ask you some really tough questions. You just tell me the first thing that comes to mind, okay? okay? I'll start with an easy one. If you had a superpower, my friend, what would it be and what? Uh, superpower would be automatically find a parking spot near the entrance of a of a store or whatever. Yes! Yep. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. <laughs> They're writing the movie script as we speak. <laughs> Yes. All right. You're. Uh, what are, are you a um, beach or are you more of like exploring mountains in the wilderness? Well, I grew up in North Carolina, and we have the, the hot uh, summers. And unfortunately, I, I didn't live too close to to the beach, so I was more of an indoor guy until we it's soccer practice yeah. was time to happen. And so I'll have to check out Tahoe. I'll have to check out maybe the bay, and then see what we like more. Okay. Okay. Uh, we all know that Mr. Cameron Iwasa is a huge fan of the Beebs. All right. Um, <laughs> a beaver. A beaver okay. Yes. Yes. So what song will we find on your car radio right now, on repeat? Um, right now, I mean, this could be the least fun answer ever given, but I'm a big podcast, current events guy. <laughs> so unfortunately, if you get in my car, you're going to be blasting NPR potentially. Okay, okay, so he's a smarty pants. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. <laughs> oh, that's right, he's a Stanford guy, so you get to play with some of your old pals. Exactly, they're, uh, they're super fun to, you know, live close to, and we always get to joke, a, joke around about old times and hopefully make new memories here too. Okay, all right, so uh, i got to go back to the karaoke. Oh, uh, that one song that will make you grab the mic and yes i say grab the mic because it's the song that you just cannot deny mm, if i was your man bruno mars yeah did we try that i think that's the one we tried. I don't know, but <laughs> maybe, that's... maybe he's been playing in the locker room or something maybe but it's it. just i've just caught the, oh uh, the bruno mars fever oh but, uh, my yeah. gosh. well it is good to meet you my friend welcome to sacramento welcome to good day we hope to see you again soon and do a little karaoke again you can watch them monday night is the first match so excited you can watch it uh, that night, and of course, we'll be cheering you on. Number four, Thomas, new to the area, and of course, Mr. Cameron, he wants on number 31. All right, back over to you. All right, thank you. 